Hello, my name is Jorge Amado and I'm going to tell my story. I was born in 10 of August of 1912 in Itabuna, Bahia, Brazil. In 1914, I moved to another city also in Bahia called Ileus where I spent my childhood. In 1922, I went to a boarding school called Antonio Vieira in Salvador where I wrote my first essay to my literature teacher called Luis Gonzaga Cabral in 1923 called Oma in English the Sea. While I was in high school, I started to work as a journalist to the journal Diário da Bahia in Salvador. In 1929, I wrote my first novel called Lenita. In 1930, I decided to move to Rio de Janeiro, that is one of the biggest cities in Brazil, because I needed better opportunities for my job. In 1931, my first book got published. It is called O País do Carnaval and is dedicated to my country, Brazil. In 1931, I started to study law in the college called Faculdade Nacional de Direito. In 1933, I got married with Matilde de Garcia Rosa, with whom I had my first daughter called Lila. In 1937, I wrote one of my favorite books called Capitães da Areia that shows the reality of our society in Brazil. In 1944, I got divorced and in 1945 I started to date Celia Gatai with who I had one son called Jorge and one daughter called Paloma. In 1945 I also started to work in politics. In 1948 I was deported to Paris. In 1950 my oldest daughter Lila died and me and my family decided to move to Czechoslovakia. In 1976, one of my books that became a classic, Dona Flor e seus dois maridos, was turned into a movie. In 1978, me and Zelia decided to get married. In 1987, it was created in Salvador, the Foundation Jorge Amado, where all the books of written are being kept. In 1995, I received the Camões Award, and in 1997, Mm, the last book was published while I was alive and is called O Milagre dos Pássaros. In 6 of August of 2001, with 89 years old, I had a heart attack and I died.